So we have made it to the end of Melanin Beauty Week and I I couldn't be any more excited. I hope you enjoyed all of these videos. Okay, so I'm gonna stick to my Revlon Photo Ready Primer today. But today's video is gonna be a little bit more laid back. So I wanted to do the last video, like a chit chat, get ready with me type of video. <sighs> One where I'm not really teaching and I'm just like sitting here, just talking to you guys. Like, I feel like I have not seen y'all in so long this week has been one of the longest weeks for me i have been so tired with trying to push out these videos and record and edit and all of that so i really really hope that y'all enjoyed and just in case you want to know the foundation that i'm using right now is the fenty beauty foundation it's one i've been loving lately and i'm in the shade 440. Let me just go ahead and get my foundation on because talking and applying foundation is not going to work for me. going on well I do know what goes on with my lighting but I don't have a lighting system now that I moved so please work with me when it comes uh, to lighting but the eyebrow pencil that I'm gonna use today is the ColourPop eyebrow pencil y'all I have I have been having withdrawals because I have not been able to get my hands on this one in a minute and I finally broke down and decided to purchase it again even though my Revlon, my Revlon is okay, like, it still does the job. It's still one of my favorite pencils, too, but this, I miss my baby. But anyways, what have y'all been doing? Like, what have you been up to? Let me know in the comment section below. How's life? What's going on? What y'all doing? What are y'all watching on Netflix? Because I just started watching 13 Reasons Why and I know it's probably been on Netflix for like a minute, but I'm starting to binge watch that. And I don't know. Like that is starting to be my new show for now. Like I don't even know if I wanna watch anything else on Netflix but 13 reasons why until I'm done with it like like it doesn't remind me exactly of my high school experience but in high school my high school experience was not the best it was not the best at all I did not have many friends I was talked about a lot like I went through a lot of tough situations in high school. Like I was, I was really, really miserable. So seeing 13 Reasons Why kind of hit home for me. If y'all, if y'all have watched it, let me know what you think. Now, I'm not gonna read the comments to the point where, please don't tell me how it ends up. I mean, I already know. You know, I'm not even gonna say it because if you haven't watched 13 Reasons Why on Netflix, watch it. You definitely need to watch it. Like I am trying to get through these brows so with brows I literally like to have to hold my breath. But I do think 13 reasons why is like a must see. But like I was saying, like my high school experience was not the best. I was 
super depressed almost I would say probably four out of the four years that I was in high school like it was it was really really bad for me and one thing that's like a pet peeve of mine to this day is bullying like I can't stand somebody being bullied that's something that I cannot stand for like I'm a really nice sweet genuine person but when I see somebody getting bullied I I don't know it just bothers me to the core and if I have to step in to help that person of course I'll step in because I just can't stand for it I can't stand to watch it The powder that I'm using today is Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I just pick up this setting powder off of Amazon because Sasha is also on Amazon. And there's something about this powder that just like sets off a look. So I picked up this ColourPop palette like isn't it so cute this palette is like so freaking cute it's called strawberry shake and what's even more cute is these colors like do y'all see them pinks anything pink is like my flavor like <laughs> love them so i think i'm gonna be using this palette and this palette only let me get some brushes because i don't know where I put the brushes that I normally use. So this is gonna be a little different. But we're gonna work it out. Oh my gosh, like this color already. So pretty. But yeah, like my self-esteem in high school was so low. It was so bad like I barely had any friends I didn't have anybody to really talk to and I just felt like nobody could get me nobody could understand me I was just so miserable like so miserable in high school so if you are having that experience or if you've had that experience you can get through it I'm telling you that like right now my self-esteem has increased so much. My confidence has increased so much. Anybody that's going through anything in life, you may not have been bullied, you may not have been going through the type of things that I went through in life, but whatever your struggle is, whatever you're going through, just know that you can get through it. Suicide is definitely not the answer. You don't wanna take that route. One, because we're all here for a reason. Even if you may feel like you don't know what your purpose is here in life, like right now, today, just know that you do have one. Like God has placed you on this earth for a reason. So don't give up and don't give in. <laughs> Even when times get tough, <sighs> cause they do get tough. Because I am a living witness, a living testimony that you can be depressed, you can have an addiction, you can have low self-esteem, whatever you have been through or whatever you are going through because all of my days are not, all of my days are not good days. All of my days are not bright days. But I do know that I am here for a reason. And I do know that you are here for a reason too. Suicide is definitely not the answer. And whatever is, whatever is making you feel down or depressed or just being down and out, like just know that you will get through it. Trust me, trust God, you will definitely get through it. I don't think anybody likes pink eyeshadows as much as I like them. Like, pink is just my color, I feel like, for my skin. I just love pink. And I'm not like that much of a girly girl, but pink is, pink is it for me. 
like woke is so pretty. I think, I think I'm gonna go for that. Now I'm gonna dip into the color woke. I know I haven't like been showing much of the colors. These colors are so pigmented. ColourPop game has changed. Like their packaging and their pigment. Like I used to love ColourPop and I still am a lover of ColourPop. But to see this brand like transform and grow and just get better is amazing. Like that's literally what I love. I love to see not just brands, but I love to see people grow and I love to see people get better. Like the people that you see on TV or people in your life that you see are succeeding, they don't really have overnight success. Like overnight success is not is not really a thing so if you're trying to get somewhere in life and you just feel like man it's taking a really really long time i'm working hard i don't know if i'm ever gonna get there let me just tell y'all right now you will get there but it takes a lot of hard work it takes a lot of determination perseverance endurance so don't feel like you're never ever gonna make it or don't look at somebody else's story or where somebody else is in life and just feel like they're doing so much better than you. We all have our own time. Like we'll all get better or make it in our own time. Don't ever speed up the process. And the thing is, is like, you don't want overnight success because that's when you start taking things for granted. So work hard for what you have and what you're doing, you know? Enjoy the preparation stage and I know everybody wants to make it like instantly, but enjoy the preparation stage because the thing about preparation is that whatever you're going for, you're more likely to keep it because you work so hard for it. So you won't ever take it for granted. So enjoy the preparation stage. That was really hard for me. Cause for a minute when it came to what I wanted and my goals and all of that, I wanted everything instantly. But what I've learned is instant gratification is not at all what you want. Okay. I'm gonna apply my liner. I know I'm going through these products, but the liner that I'm gonna use is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. You guys have seen me use this several times because it is one of my faves. I'm just gonna draw a little wing. Like you can't tell me these colors aren't pretty light. These colors are just so cute. Colourpop, I don't know what you have been doing, but you have been doing the thing. And this is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Like, I'm just so in love with this palette. This is definitely going to be my go-to palette from now on. I bought another palette from ColourPop and I'm gonna show you that palette too. Because for people who are sleeping on a ColourPop, I'm just gonna let y'all know, like, don't. <laughs> just don't. And I wish I had some other, like some old ColourPop palettes to show you. I don't even know if I do. But to see them grow is <laughs> just amazing. And I, I'm just gonna 
let me be vulnerable with you guys for a little minute, right? So, I used to get messages all the time where people were wondering where I'm at. And what's so special to me is you guys didn't even know me and you still left like some encouraging words. And it wasn't just like, I miss you. And I mean, I got those messages and y'all did say that in the message. But a lot of you guys were saying that you hope I was doing okay and that you're praying for me. And you know, all that positive energy. And I really, really felt that. And it was something that really touched me. So I've been going through life and I've had some depressing moments and I stepped away from YouTube and I stepped away from quite a bit of things in life. So I was, I was in a tough spot, a tough situation mentally, financially, spiritually. I was in a really dark spot. And now I feel like I know what I'm here for and I know what my purpose is. So I just want to say that I feel like you guys are a part of it. I have been in some tough situations in life, like a lot of tough stuff, right? And in life, I felt like I never really had an escape. I never had anything that was healthy that I could escape from. And God has really graced me. So I feel like my channel is something that of course I'm starting up again and I'm starting up, starting it up again, not just for myself, but I'm starting it up again for you guys because you guys are so, so important to me. I just want my channel to be really positive, something that you guys can escape from, if that makes sense. So any way that I can encourage you, any way that I can teach you, any way that I can just help you get through your day, that's what I'm here for. So don't be afraid to leave me a message. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below. Don't be afraid to reach out to me because I feel like my channel has now changed and it, it was always an outlet for me, but Honestly, it was just something that I feel like I wanted to do, but I didn't really have a reason behind it. But now it's switching from something that I want to do for myself to something that I want to do for you guys. What are these brushes that I can use? I don't even know what color I want to use. Like. Both are pretty. Let me use Delish. Cause it looks so delish. Yes, this is so gorgeous. I'm not even gonna show y'all what I'm contouring with today, but if y'all know what I'm contouring with, put it in the description box below. Cause the people that watch me know what I'm contouring with tonight. Like. The people that really watch me, y'all know. What is it? I'm gonna be using Makeup Revolution's Matte Blush, and this is in the color Fusion. One of my favorites because it's not so overpowering. It's really, really it's gentle. like this eyeshadow is highlight because it's pretty so pretty now I need to figure out what lip I'm gonna wear what lip should I wear I'm gonna use Barracuda by Colourpop I don't think I've ever used this color before It's really pretty. 
So my go-to lip liner is Chestnut by MAC. It makes everything look perfect. I Heart Makeup Re Revolution Fixing Spray in Guava Rose. I am like almost out of this, but their spray is amazing. All right, so this concludes Melanin Beauty Week. I hope you ladies enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed making them. So just let me know as well, like what videos do you guys wanna see next? Because this is the end of this week and I'm gonna go ahead and get back into my filming mood. So I hope I was able to encourage someone. I hope I was able to uplift and help someone today because I have a lot more videos coming up and hopefully I'll be good energy. <laughs> So that we all can get through this thing called life just know that you matter you are here for a reason and you will get there we will all get there we're basically all on the same team so i'm rooting for you i love you i will see you beauties in my next video thank you so much for watching love you bye